Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more example. Say that ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay. AP and CQ are perpendiculars from the vertices A and C on the diagonal BD. So we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. First draw these two triangles. A, P, B, the order has to be maintained, C, Q, D. Okay, so let's see this triangle first now here in the screen. A, P, B, A, P, B, this one. And the next is C, Q, D, this one. Right, so let me draw this. This is one, and C, Q, D is another. Okay, so let's see which sides are common. AB will be equal to CD for sure. AB will be equal to CD for sure. Opposite sides are parallel. Any other thing which we can make uh, equal? This angle. Angle P and angle Q will be equal. Angle P will be equal to angle Q. That is also done. Any common side? What about AP and CQ? AP and CQ we can't say anything okay what about these angles can these angles be equal yes if you see these are alternate angles right this angle and this angle are actually alternate angle so a b p that is a b p this angle will be equal to this angle q d c q d c now if you see two angles are equal side is equal that is it is congruent okay angle angle side so I can say that triangle APB is congruent to triangle CQD by angle angle side. I just showed you, right? This angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, and this side is equal to this side. Okay, that is done. And AP is equal to CQ. If you see AP is equal to CQ are corresponding sides of the congruent triangle. Therefore, AP is equal to CQ. Since triangle AP P is congruent to triangle CQD. Correct? I hope you can do this. If not, let me write steps for you. APB is equal to CQD. Why? We just showed that angle APB is equal to angle CQD. Okay. 90 degree. Then angle ABP is equal to angle CDQ. Alternate angle and AB is equal to CD opposite side of parallelogram. So because of this, these two angles are triangles are congruent. Since those triangles are congruent, the corresponding side that is AP and CQ will be equal. Little lengthy but simple question. So let's see this question. Triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB is equal to DE given, AB is parallel to DE given. Similarly, BC is equal to EF given, BC is parallel to EF given. Vertices of AB, C and are joined to vertices of DEF respectively. We have to prove that AB, ED is a quadrilateral. To prove AB, ED is a quadrilateral, we can prove that two sides are equal and parallel. That is, then I can prove that AB, ED is a parallel, parallelogram. So, in A, B, E, D, if you see, it is given that A, B is equal to D and also A, B is parallel to D, right? Therefore, A, B, E, D is parallelogram. Pretty easy. Okay. The second one, B, E, F, C. If you see B, E, F, C, same thing. In B, E, F, C also, we can show that two sides are equal and parallel, that means it is a parallelogram. It is given that BC is equal to EF and BC is parallel to EF. Since it is given, therefore, BEFC is actually a parallelogram. This part is also done. Similarly, we have to prove that AD is parallel to CF and AD is equal to FC. 
That is what we have to prove. So to prove that AD is parallel to CF, what we can do? This is AD and this is CF. We have to prove it to be parallel. Now we know that ABED is parallelogram. Since ABED is parallelogram, then AD will be parallel to what? BE and AD will also be equal to BE. Correct? And we also know that BEFC is a parallelogram. BEFC is a parallelogram. That means BE is parallel to FC. B is parallel to FC and BE is equal to FC. So now if you see AD is parallel to BE and then BE is parallel to FC, this implies what? If you merge these two statements, AD is parallel to BE and BE is parallel to FC implies AD is parallel to FC. Similarly, AD is equal to BE and BE is equal to FC implies what? AD is equal to FC. That is what we have to prove. Now since this is proved, AD is equal to FC, AD is equal to FC and AD is parallel to FC, I can say that AD, FC is a parallelogram. This is also we can prove, right? So I can say that in ACFD, AD is parallel to FC, we have just proved and AD is equal to FC, we just proved. Therefore, ACFD is what? Is nothing but a parallelogram. Okay, that is done. The next is AC is equal to DF. Now, if ACFD is a parallelogram, AC will also be equal to DF, right? AC is equal to DF. Why? Since ACFD is parallelogram. Next is triangle ABC is. Uh, congruent to triangle DEF. Let's put ABC and DEF. So if you see, compare AB is equal to DE that is given. BC is equal to EF is also given. And AC is equal to DF we just proved. Thus, by SSS, these two triangles will be congruent. Okay. Okay, so ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD. AD is equal to BC. So let's draw EC such that EC is also equal to BC. I mean, let's draw EC such that you complete this as a parallelogram. So we have drawn this EC such that ADCE is actually parallelogram. So AB is equal to BC is equal to EC. These three sides are equal. So we have to prove that angle A is equal to angle B is one let's number this actually okay so what I can do is let this be angle one and if you see this angle will be equal to angle two alternate angles and this angle will also be equal to angle three right I just note angle one will be equal to angle two alternate angles and angle one is equal to angle three why BC is equal to C therefore Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 for now. And this is angle 4. And angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Why? Opposite angle of parallelogram. 1 is equal to 2, 1 is equal to 3, 3 is equal to 4. Right? So with this, what do you make? 1, 2, 3, 4, all are equal actually. Right? Correct? 1, 2, 3, 4 are equal. Therefore, angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4. And what we have to prove? Prove angle C is equal to D. Therefore, angle 2 is equal to angle 4. This part is proved. Okay. If angle 2 is equal to angle 4, 180 degree minus angle 2 will be equal to 180 degree minus angle 4. Let this be 5 and 6. So what is 180 degree minus angle 4? That is angle 6. 
and one what is sorry 180 degree minus angle 2 is angle 6 and 180 degree minus angle 4 is angle 5 so angle 6 is equal to angle 5 that is nothing but angle A is equal to angle B this is also proof okay now we have to prove that triangle ABC and BAD are same so let's join this part this is angle triangle ABC and this is triangle BAD so let's draw this triangle first A B C in this order, B A D in this order. Okay, so to talk about A B C, angle B is what? Angle six. This is angle six. B A D, B A D. This is angle five. Angle six is equal to angle five. We already proved. Mark the angle. Also, A B is equal to B C given. A B is equal to BC, but this is BA. It won't be of any help. Right? So this is AB is equal to AB, common side. Okay? BC is equal to AD given. BC is equal to AD given. So if you see by side angle side, side angle side, both these two triangles are congruent. AB is equal to AB common side, angle 6 is equal to angle 5, we just proved. BC is equal to AD given. Right? Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD by side angle side you can write in plain English now now since they are equal I have to prove that AC is equal to BD AC is equal to BD also equal why corresponding sides of triangle ABC and triangle BAD and BC is equal to sorry AC is equal to BD BAD okay Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.